welcome you all for this session in this session we are going to learn how to solve the problems on moving coil galvanometer first let us see the formula expression for charge flowing through a ballistic galvanometer is given by q is equal to c by b a n t by 2 pi into theta expression for charge sensitivity is theta by Q is equal to B A N by C into 2 pi by T where this B A N by C is nothing but current sensitivity let us write this as theta by I we can connect this charge sensitivity and current sensitivity then charge sensitivity becomes 2 pi by T times current sensitivity Expression for charge flowing through ballistic galvanometer with the damping correction is given by Q is equal to C by B A N T by 2 pi into theta 1 into 1 plus lambda by 2. Here this is logarithmic decrement. Logarithmic decrement lambda is given by lambda is equal to 2.303 divided by n minus 1 log theta 1 divided by theta n with base 10. Now let us see the first problem. The successive throw in ballistic galvanometer are 20 centimeters and 19.8 centimeters. On the same side find its logarithmic decrement. The deflections are on the same side so the first deflection is theta 1 and third deflection is theta 3 for one complete oscillation we have theta 1 by theta 3 is equal to e power 2 lambda now let us take a log on both sides so this side will going to get log e with base e as 1 and uh, this 2 lambda is as it is and here I am converting log base E to log base 10 if you want to convert log base E to log base 10 then that will be multiplied by the term 2.303 now let us simplify this equation lambda is equal to 2.3 2.303 divided by 2 log 20 by 19.8 with base 10 uh, if you simplify this we are going to get 4.32 into 10 raised to minus 3 now let us multiply with this then the final answer will be 4.97 into 10 raised to minus 3 or uh, we can write lambda is equal to 0.0049 the second problem is the current sensitivity of a ballistic galvanometer is 2.2 into 10 raised to minus 9 millimeter per ampere. Calculate the charge sensitivity of ballistic galvanometer of periodic time 6.2 seconds. So here current sensitivity is given and time period of oscillation is given. So here to get the charge sensitivity we need to use this relation charge sensitivity is equal to 2 pi by t times current sensitivity. So here 2 pi is constant t is time period of oscillation 6.2 seconds I am writing that 6.2. Now let us multiply this whole term with this current sensitivity 2.2 into 10 raised to minus 9. After simplifying this the final answer will be 2.229 into 10 raised to minus 9. The unit for charge sensitivity is millimeter per coulomb. This is the final required answer. Now let us move on to the third problem. Calculate 
the periodic time of ballistic galvanometer if the moment of inertia of the coil is 3 into 10 raise to minus 4 kg per meter squared and the restoring couple per unit twist of the suspension wire is 10 power minus 4 newton meter here the given data or moment of inertia is 3 into 10 power minus 4 kg per meter squared and restoring couple per unit twist c couple per unit twist is 10 power minus 4 newton meter then what is the time period of oscillation of a coil in the ballistic galvanometer we have time period of oscillation as t is equal to 2 pi square root of i divided by c where i is moment of finish c is couple per unit twist now this is a direct substitution 2 pi is a constant 2 into 3.142 square root of i is 3 into 10 raised to minus 4 and c is 10 raised to minus 4 after simplifying this the the final answer is t is equal to 10.884 seconds this is the required answer now let us move on to the next problem the successive deflections to the right and left of the mean position in the case of ballistic galvanometer are found to be 0 0.25 meter 0 0.249 meter 0 0.248 meter find the logarithmic decrement here the deflections are 0 0.25 meter this one is one side suppose if i take 0 0.25 meter one side then 0 0.249 meter will be other side and 0 0.248 meter will come to the initial side only so therefore this becomes theta 1 and this is theta 2 and the third value is theta 3 for one complete oscillation we have this expression lambda is equal to 2.303 divided by 2 log theta 1 divided by theta 3 with log base 10 so here let us simplify this after simplification the value for this is 3.49 into 10 raise to minus 3 now let us multiply this with this value then the final answer is 4.016 into 10 raise to minus 3 this is the required answer next problem is a capacitor charged to 2 volt is discharged through a ballistic galvanometer the corrected first throw is 9.6 centimeter and figure of merit of galvanometer is 2.2 into 10 raise to minus 8 ampere per centimeter periodic time is 12 seconds find the capacity of capacitor so here the given data are v is equal to 2 volts the capacitor is initially charged to 2 volt and the capacitor is discharged through a bg when it is discharged the first throw observed is theta is equal to 9.6 centimeter and here from this problem figure of merit is k is equal to 2.2 into 10 raise to minus 8 ampere per centimeter and time period of oscillation is 12 seconds then what is the value of capacitor we know that q is equal to c into v and from the theory of ballistic galvanometer we have this expression q is equal to c by b n t by 2 pi into theta here from these two expressions left hand sides are equal so we can equate right hand sides by equating we are going to get this expression cv is equal to k into t by 2 pi into theta where k is c by b a n that is figure of merit 
So here c is equal to k into t by 2 pi into theta divided by v. k is given 2.2 into 10 raised to minus 8. t is time period of oscillation 12 seconds. 2 into pi is a constant value. Theta the deflection 9.6. v is 2. After simplifying this c is equal to 20.16 into 10 raised to minus 8 farad or we can write this as 0 0.20 into 10 raised to minus 6 farad or 0 0.20 micro farad. Now let us see the next problem. A 0 0.2 micro farad capacitor is charged to 4 volts. It gives a deflection of 9.6 cm and 8 cm for first and 11th throws when discharged through a ballistic galvanometer. If time period of ballistic galvanometer is 10 seconds, calculate the current sensitivity. Here we have a capacitor of 0.2 microfarad that is C is equal to 0.2 microfarad. This capacitor is charged to 4 volts. V is equal to 4 volt. When it is discharged, it gives deflections through ballistic. When it is discharged through ballistic galvanometer, it gives deflections. For first deflection, that is theta 1 is equal to 9.6 centimeter and uh, 11th deflection is 8 centimeter. From this problem, it is given that it gives a deflection of 9.6 centimeter and 8 centimeter for first and 11th throws when discharged through ballistic galvanometer. That is, theta 1 is equal to 9.6 centimeter, theta 11 is equal to 8 centimeter, and the time period of oscillation is given as 10 seconds and what is current sensitivity. Here we have this expression q is equal to c by b a n t by 2 pi into theta 1 into 1 plus lambda by 2. This is uh, with the damping correction. Okay, let us write the c by b a n as uh, k where k is figure of merit and uh, in this expression, suppose if you want to find lambda, we have to make use of this expression. Lambda is equal to 2.303 divided by n minus 1 log theta 1 by theta n with base at 10. So here in this problem, theta 1 is given and theta 11 is given. So we can calculate lambda value. After calculating, the lambda value will be 0 0.0. 1, 8. It is a constant. Okay, now let us come to this equation. Q is equal to k t by 2 pi theta 1 into 1 plus lambda by 2. We have Q is equal to c into v and uh, in this equation Q is equal to this. So, we can equate two equations. Then uh, c v is equal to k t by 2 pi theta 1 into 1 plus lambda by 2. Therefore, k can be written as cv into 2 pi by t into 1 divided by theta 1 into 1 plus lambda by 2. c is 0 0.2 microfarad, v is 4 volt, 2 pi is constant, 2 into 3.142, time period of oscillation is 10 into 1 divided by first deflection observed is 9.6 into 1 plus lambda value 0 0.018 divided by 2. So here after simplifying the value for this k is 0 0.134 into 10 raised to minus 6 ampere per centimeter. We have this relation figure of merit k is equal to 1 divided by current sensitivity. Therefore, current sensitivity can be written as 1 divided by figure of merit. Therefore, current sensitivity answer becomes 7.46 into 10 raised to 6 centimeter per ampere. Now, let us move on to the next problem. 
A vertical and horizontal components of Earth's magnetic field are 2.3 into 10 raised to minus 5 Tesla and 3.6 into 10 raised to minus 5 Tesla respectively. Then what is the angle of dip? Here vertical component is 2.3 into 10 raised to minus 5 Tesla. Horizontal component is 3.6 into 10 raised to minus 5 Tesla. Then angle of dip is given by tan pi is equal to ratio of BV to BH. Now let us substitute BV and BH. So after simplifying this, uh, we are going to get 0 0.6388. Therefore, pi is equal to a tan inverse of 0 0.6388. So we are going to get angle of dip pi as 32 degree 34 minutes. Thank you.